but I got to tell y'all this, and y'all are going to question it and possibly not believe it. But I wasn't the only one that saw it. My wife saw it, too. Either one of you can feel free to independently ask her if you want to. But we were coming up 601 yesterday about 545, coming back to Monroe to eat supper, and someone had an open parachute, and they were coming down out of the sky on 601. It was headed towards Monroe. It was on the left. It was a red parachute. And I saw no plane anywhere, but they were coming down, and they landed in a field off on the left. You don't see that every day. No. Was it Steven Seagal? When we first saw it, Amanda said, that might be a hang glider. I said, there ain't nothing tall enough to jump off of with a hang glider around here. You can't. I mean, you got to be up. Right. And plus, it was up and down. He weren't He weren't laying. It was a parachute. It was a parachute. And and he was, and it wasn't a round parachute. It was one of them like that, one of them umbrella-looking uh-huh. parachute you steer. Yeah, that you can steer. And, and he was obviously steering it because we rode for a good five minutes and watched him. He came this way, and then he went that way, and then he came back this way, and then he went that way. And I, I'm like, where's the plane? I'm looking like he jumped out of something. Yeah. And I thought when you go, I thought when you jumped out of plane though, I thought there were like areas like that place in Chester that does right. it. I thought there was. I, mean, I didn't know you could just like get in a plane and say, all right, I'm gonna just jump out here. Well, maybe you don't need one up in the air no more. <laughs> well, that's what I was looking for smoke, fire. Uh, I saw jet trails, but I said, what no jet? Uh, when they eject from a jet, there's something wrong. It's, uh, it's not. Plus, he wasn't strapped to a seat. It's just, I, it was, I've never, I've never seen that around here. I've seen hot air balloons. Mm-hmm. I've seen blimps fly over. I've never seen anybody in a parachute uh, coming down between Paisley and Monroe on 601. So, you know, I, I just, that, that just struck me as odd. I thought about calling Henry right then and said, it's happening. They're, they're parachuting in. They're coming. It's like Red Dawn. Here they come. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's happening. Well, that was a Wixie listener saying that. Oh yeah, we've seen the red parachute guy lots of times. Oh you have? Uh, okay. The Wixie listener. Well, that makes me feel better. Because <laughs> I, because I, no, I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh, well, you're not crazy because man saw it too. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Greg Sutton just texted me. Said I saw it on the way home. Good. That makes me feel a lot better. Uh, I got I to gotta tell y'all this, and y'all are going to question it and possibly not believe it, but uh, I wasn't the only one that saw it. My wife saw it, too. Uh, either one of you can feel free to independently ask her if you want to, but we were coming up 601 yesterday about 545, uh, coming back to Monroe to eat supper, and someone had an open parachute, and they were coming down out of the sky on 601. It was uh, headed towards Monroe. It was on the left. It was a red parachute. And I saw no plane anywhere, but they were coming down and they landed in a field off on the left. You don't see that every day. No. Was it Steven Seagal? <laughs> when we first saw it, Amanda said, that might be a hang glider. I said, there ain't nothing tall enough to jump off of with a hang glider around here. You can't. I mean, you got to be up. Right. And plus, it was up and down. He weren't, he weren't laying. It was a parachute. It was a parachute. And, and, he was, and it wasn't a round parachute. It was one of them like that. One of them umbrella-looking. Uh-huh. Parachute steer. Yeah, that you can steer. And, and he was obviously steering it because we rode for a good five minutes and watched him. He came this way and then he went that way and then he came back this way and then he went that way. And I, I'm like, where's the plane? I'm looking like he jumped out of something. Yeah. And I thought when you go on, I thought when you jumped out of plane, though, I thought there were like areas like that place in Chester that does right. it. I thought there was, I, mean, I didn't know you could just like get in a plane and say, all right, I'm going to just jump out here. Well, maybe you don't need one up in the air no more. <laughs> well, that's what I was looking for smoke, fire. Uh, I saw jet trails, but I said, what no jet? Uh, when they eject from a jet, there's something wrong. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not. Plus, he wasn't strapped to a seat. He was just. I, it, it was. Uh, I've, never, I've never seen that around here. I've seen hot air balloons. Mm-hmm. I've seen blimps fly over. I've never seen anybody in a parachute uh, coming down between Paisley and the Mudro. <laughs> 601. So, you know, I, I just, that, that just struck me as odd. I thought about calling Henry right then and said, it's happening. They're, they're parachuting in. They're coming. It's like Red Dawn. Here they come. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, it's happening. Well, that was a Wixie listener saying that. Oh, yeah. We've seen the Red Parachute guy lots of times. Oh, you have? Okay. Yeah. Well, that makes me feel better. <laughs>
Yeah. So, it's happening. Well, that was a Wixie listener saying that, oh, yeah, we've seen the red parachute guy lots of times. Oh, you have? Okay. Uh, the Wixie listener Well, that makes me feel better. Because <laughs> I've, I've, no, I'm not crazy. Well, I'm well you're not crazy because Amanda saw it, too. Uh-huh. Greg Sutton just texted me. He said, I saw it on the way home. Dude, that makes me feel a lot better.